Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ali and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a color reveal or a color fill. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. In this tutorial, I got a couple of examples I'm going to show you. The first one is going to be uh, using a text animation and then the other one is going to be on a shape. So let's get started. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'll grab a text by hitting the uh, shift key and the T uh, letter T on my keyboard to grab a, a text and then I'm just going to edit that text and let's call it uh, Toonies Animation which is my company name like this you may just want to make it a little bit smaller in size like that and make sure it is in the center and then my next step would be to make a duplicate of that one and I'm going to tell you why in a second so once I have that set uh, my first step would be to use the layer that's on top and then change its color to uh, a gradient color one of my favorites that i like which is going to be this gradient or beautiful gradient color and then the other one which is the one underneath it um, i'm going to make it transparent so i'm going to go under settings open up the color settings right there and then uh, make it a transparent by dragging this little circle right there in a black line drag it all the way to the left so i can make it transparent my next step would be to go on to the border settings and then i'm just going to add a, some width to it so i'm going to make it three pixels and then I'm going to change the color from uh, gray to black so I can make an outline for my text just like that next up I'm going to go and add a rectangle shape I can either do that by simply open up opening up the shapes um, uh, by clicking on that icon right there or I can simply hit the uh, shift key and the letter R to grab a rectangle which is pretty much a shortcut and I love those because they speed up my workflow all the time so my next step would be to go and uh, simply expand or extend uh extend the uh, sh uh the shape and just make it about the same size of my text like that it needs to be a little bit longer from the bottom just so i can give it more time basically um to slide in from the bottom to to the top and um, after that i'm going to go under uh the effects tab on our left panel open that up and then i'm going to grab my magic effect that is called wave so i'm going to drag this and drop it onto my rectangle shape close out the effects uh, panel and then go under settings now you see that the effect has been applied uh, under the effects tab and then when you click on the word that says wave we we can now see the preset settings in which we can play with so what i need to do is simply First of all, it looks like I still have a little bit of the, um, uh, you know, my text is ap uh, appearing on under my shape. So I'm going to make it a little bit longer from the right side. And then the next thing I want to do is simply um, change the direction of the wave effect. So currently, as you can see, it's playing on the side, bo on both sides of the uh, shape like that. But I want to change the direction and simply just make it uh something like 70 or 83 degree just like that so when it plays it's just going to show like a color fill you know when it slides underneath uh the text now um let's go ahead and open that up again i'm sorry i did um, i exited by mistake and then i will just uh increase the uh height just a little bit oh actually decrease it and make it something like uh three uh percent like that and then I can hit start to preview show you what that looks like before I even apply the effect so now that I've got that covered now I want to do is simply just um, select my uh, my colored text which is the one on top and then I'm going to go under settings and then I will uh, open up my track mat and then I will just uh, open up my uh, drop down menu right here and then select um, Toonies animation I'm sorry it's going to be uh the rounded rectangle and then don't forget to uh, change the type from luma to alpha so that you can see the full color and then what you want to do now that you have this covered you want to animate your shape right so what we're going to do is we are going to go back to the very beginning of our timeline and then we're going to add uh, some keyframes so i'm going to add a position animation and i'm going to hit the uh, p letter p uh, key on my keyboard to add a position animation i'm going to choose the easing as linear for both in and out and then i want to decide on my first uh, keyframe so i'm going to click my uh, first keyframe make sure it is turned in blue and then with my keyboard i could just simply hit the sh uh, the shift key with the bottom arrow key as well and then drag these guys all the way to the bottom right underneath the text just like that that's just enough and then on the next uh, second keyframe it should be as is we we're not going to make any movements 
because it's already filling up our text. That's what that's basically what we want. Uh, but maybe I just want to slow down the animation just so I can make it look really beautiful. So let's extend the keyframe until the end of the track. And of course, you know, the slower the animation, uh, the better looking it is. So let's just go back from the beginning and show you what that looks like. Here we go. Pretty beautiful. Now we have a color reveal or color fill to our text. Um, and it looks so much amazing, you know, especially using the magic effect that is called wave, right? This is really beautiful. So that was my first example. My next example would be to show you how you can do this working with shapes. So I'm going to open up my media files right there. And then I'm going to go to uh, SVG API, open that in full gallery. And then I'm going to search for a cup and wait for the results. And let's just pick one. Let's say this is uh, the one that I want to work with. And let's just go back to my media files, grab that and drag it and drop it onto my canvas. And then I'm going to close my media files. And then I want to change the color of uh, this one. So instead of that blue, I'm going to make it black just like this. And then in order to stay organized, it's best when you rename your layers. So I'm going to rename that one and call it shape. And then my next step would be to draw um, a shape um, and basically use that as uh, the liquid uh, that's going to be uh, revealed inside the cup. And in order to do that, um, it's best if you can use the pen tool. So what you want to do is you go onto the top left and then open up the pen tool and then start drawing. Uh, this doesn't have to be perfect, by the way. Uh, you just need a quick shape to use it um, and make it real, look really amazing. So that's basically what we're, we're, we're going to do right now. So I'm going to start uh, point uh, click with my mouse to add my dots right there and again it doesn't have to be perfect you just need to add your points around the cup from from the inside to create that liquid and just make it wavy and uh you know make it really beautiful so let's just go ahead and do that you can always adjust your dots while working on your um drawing or while while you're drawing so once you once you're done you simply just go into right panel um right on top of the timeline where it says connect shape you just click that to connect your shape and then don't forget to um, remove the border to make it zero pixels. And then what you want to do is just want to e extend it and basically just make it fit inside the cup. You don't need to worry about uh, this, again, the shape being imperfect just like that because we are going to have the cup layer right on top of it so that it looks perfect when you have it on top. Next up is rename that path that, which is basically the drawing that we have got. So right click and then um, rename that. And let's just call this one liquid. So we know exactly what we're working with. And then my next step would be to change the color of this shape. And then I'm going to make it a, you know, some kind of light orange color like this and i will just grab a rectangle shape so again hit the shift key and r the letter r on my keyboard to grab a uh, re um, rectangle shape i'm going to extend it a little bit from the from both sides left and uh, right and then i'm going to select oh or first of all right click and rename that shape and then i'm going to call this one color for example and what i'm going to do next is i will just select my uh, liquid layer, which I drew. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, under settings and then open up my track mat right there. Um, open up my drop down menu, and then I'm going to select colors right there. And don't forget to change the type from Luma to alpha. So you can see the full color. And the one thing that we need to do is to add some wave effect onto that, um, onto that rectangle shape that we added so we haven't forgot about that we will just go ahead and do that right now and then i'm going to open up my effects tab go onto the wave effect maybe i should have done that a little bit earlier in the steps while working on it uh, but that's not a problem because i could just always just drag my shape a little to the bottom like this so i can see what i'm doing and then i'm going to open up my wave settings on the right panel under the effects tab and i will change the direction of my uh, of my shape just like this make it like that and then i may want to decrease the height just a little bit to kind of make it look like look normal basically so around two or three percent is quite fine you can always preview what it looks like by hitting the start uh, button to show you what that looks like and to me it looks perfect the way it is so now what we what we got to do is we want to uh, select that color shape, which is a rectangle shape that we got, and it's now track matte or masked 
with a liquid liquid shape what i want to do next is i want to use a position animation so i'm going to select uh i have my uh, shape selected i'm just going to uh, hit the letter p on my keyboard to add a position animation again the linear the uh, easing is going to be linear for both in and out and then i will choose my first keyframe and simply with my keyboard i'm going to hit the shift key in the bottom arrow key to drag that one to the bottom just like that and then once i click on the second keyframe i should go up you, you can either keep it that way or just make it go all the way to cover the entire cup from the inside that's totally up to you um, but i'll just keep it that way i'll just extend the the uh, keyframe to the very end of the track like this and then i'm going to go and start playing this for you show you what that looks like and here we go a pretty cool color reveal effect that looks really amazing and it's pretty and it's uh, pretty awesome so i hope you like this uh, video if you found this helpful please let me know uh, what you think in the comments and what are you looking for in an upcoming tutorial don't forget to subscribe and like this video share it for more engagement and i look forward to seeing you on the next one